You guys, I don't even know. Everything is so stressful. I'm going into work right now. Uh, it's Monday. And I'm sorry I didn't do a video last week. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I honestly, what happened on the, okay, so I was gonna go in for a service for my car and then I've just been wanting like a bigger car because my last car was a two-seater and it was a lot of fun and I really loved the fact that it was like a hard top so like it was a convertible and I wanted it to be. It was really nice to like drive around like with a convertible like, after work, going down the 405 at night. It was just a very nice like luxury, I feel like, to have that. Um, I miss that a lot. It's like the one of the re main reasons I did not want to think about trading the car. Um, but I just didn't have any room. Like my trunk was max. Like it was full of shit all the time. It was a fucking mess. Uh, so I was just like, I need more space. So I ended up getting a, like a bigger car. And it's like it's. I mean, they're both they're both beautiful cars. But I think this one's a step up. I get a bit of step. I don't want to talk about it. I feel like everyone will already know. Like missing the interior. It's. I just. It's a very nice car, so I don't really like to... It's, I just feel like it's kind of showy, and I don't know. I know I work for every penny I have and all that, but I don't know. I just feel like I don't need to mention... I don't know. It's a nice car. Let's just put it like that. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'll say in the future. Right now, I just don't know if I say it. But I'm on my way to work and making more changes, you guys. I'm just going to come out and say it. The last assistant didn't work out. Okay, I'm just going to put it that way just for m many reasons. Just didn't wait... Um, my petite assistant and I just kind of decided that wasn't, I mean, whatever. I decided ultimately that it wasn't working out. Um, so I'm going to be, it's just going to be her and I now, and I'm not going to be running any, like, like large promotions or anything for a while, and I'm going to take time to try to find a, an assist, someone who is in it for the long haul, who isn't, like, a fangirl, wants to come in and just kind of scope things out, who, um can handle the workload it's a lot of work I mean it's a lot of work it's a busy job but I feel like I was also you know paying this person a lot too you know to for her time and I know I, like, but so I don't know I'm just, I'm going through that transition again now I, this angle do I look like a fucking weirdo I feel like I look like I look like I have a talk ahead just like a head I've, I don't know like, the angle is fucking horrible anyway so but I'm not even going to stress on that right now. I might today, I might post like another thing. Let me, I don't know. Hiring is hard, you guys. And I'm, thank, thank God I have uh, my assistant Lucy, who's just like so on top of everything. She's like my petite assistant or whatever. Thank God I have her helping me because she's really good at that. She's very like methodical and smart and like book smart and, you know, like finance smart and things like that. Like she has that brain. Um, and I'm just more like creative and like, um, you know, I don't know what the word is. I don't know. I'm not. We're different, so it works out. Uh, anyway, so oh God, I just got bit. So that's what I'm doing this week. Um, busy week, busy week. Today I'm gonna be in there in the office, tying up loose ends that weren't that weren't accomplished that should have been accomplished. I'm kind of honestly, really stressed and irritated by the whole thing. But you know, when you have a small business like. There, there are kinks in the road that are unexpected. So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, what's her name? Fell asleep. What's her name? It's it fell asleep. <laughs> People were like, "Oh my last," were like, "Oh my god," she said it about the dog. Her, her like it. Did I? I don't even know. Whatever. Um. So yeah, you guys. This week I have like no real plans. Oh yeah, the seats are very light, so I was like, okay, actually, because I was like, kind of sit on this car, and then I was like, going back and forth between this and the G-Wagon, and I was like, no, like, G-Wagon, no offense, like, okay, G-Wagon is cool for like, okay, can I say this? Is this really bad? All right. No, I'm not going to say it. It's not what I'm going to say. It's like terrible, because the G-Wagon is a beautiful car, but I feel like nowadays, it's kind of becoming like new money. It's very like, kind of, like all these like... All these like kind of new money starlets or stars are getting these G-Wagons are kind of like making like they're kind of like trashy. It's like the trashy like money car. Anyone, I don't know. That's what I feel like it is. And I mean, it's not like, okay, honestly, let's just put it this way. Like Trisha Paytas in her pink car. It's so perfect. She's so cute. I love it. I love her in it. Amazing. And I would feel like when I say that, that's what you guys might be thinking I'm referring to, but I'm not because she's like, um, she's so cool because she's so self-made and I'm not hating on that. But I feel like every other person I see 
edgy wagon is, I don't know, I just wasn't me. Not that I'm not new money, like my parents, I don't, I don't come from like fucking, you know, like I don't come from rich parents, but um, you know, I don't know. I just kind of feel like it's like, the, it's kind of trashy in a way. Is that bad? But it's obviously not trashy. It's a fucking expensive ass car. I, I just, I don't know, but I almost got the G-Wagon. I was sitting in it and I, the AMG G-Wagon was like so loud and so beastie and cool, but then I kind of felt like, it's not me. It wasn't like luxe and comfy, and this one is like luxe as fuck and comfy. So I was just like, oh my, this is starting to bump, you guys. I'm sorry. This is like my first video in this fucking car, and it's like not going as planned. But I just feel like it's like very luxe and comfy, and it's like my cloud couch. It's very like cloud couchy. Like the, the seats are very like comfy. I'm always like sitting in a lot of traffic. It's like very, I don't know. I love it. It's very peaceful feeling in here, but at the same time, it's got like a fucking sick engine. Like it's this is an AMG, so it's really fun. And on my last car, it wasn't an AMG, so it wasn't so, like, beastie. And I feel like this one, it's, like, I don't think I can, like, ever go back to a non-AMG. Like, because, like, this, the way the power feels, it's so different. Um, like, I don't know. And I'm not fucking spoiled as fuck. Oh, my God, she's so fucking spoiled. Fuck you, okay? Like, I'm sorry. I work so hard, okay? Like, please. Um, I'm gonna let you fucking treat myself to something. Um, anyway. So what else am I doing? I'm like not doing anything this week. I have like no friends again. Like I used to have friends, but now they have like, they're like my one friend is like in a relationship. Charles is in a relationship. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> um, but so like I'm like kind of alone as fuck right now, you guys. But it's fine. I'm just gonna, it's actually better that I'm alone because I decided that my assistant wasn't working out. So we're finding another one. But um, you know, I don't really need to be doing anything. But at the same time, I don't want to fucking just be sitting home. Uh, but I'm working, oh yeah, I'm trying, you guys, how do you watch these videos? I'm like all over the fucking place. <sighs> anyway, creation, my almond, almond, mil almond latte, almond ice latte, but it tastes like kind of pissy again today. It's not like as thick as I like it to be. Fucking piss again. Um, this is really bothering me. Lighting is stupid. And, um, I'm not gonna, you say, okay, let me talk my car a little bit more. I'm not gonna get the windows tinted, I decided. Like, that was the stupidest idea ever. When I would have my tint, okay, you guys, if y'all if y'all are single and you wanna get, like, picked up on and shit, don't fucking tint your windows, okay? Like, especially in, like, a, like, a fly car. Like, why the fuck would you tint your windows so no one can see you? Like, there's, like, okay, I've been asked out. Like, in my last car, when I did not have my windows tinted, I was, like, this guy, like, when I was on PCH, and he was a cu real cutie, like, and he, like, Rolled, I, he like, told me to roll down my window and he got my number. I don't know, it was like kind of spur of the moment and um, it was fun, but like, I mean, we just like, we like went to one on a date and like nothing ever would happen from there, stupid, like. But, um, so I'm not gonna t tint my windows now, why? So like no one can recognize me that pro or like no, can like see who I am, like cutie will pull, pull up next to me and then they won't know who I, like, won't know it's like, a cute girl in the car. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna leave my windows untinted um, I think. Plus, like, just, like, I don't know. I think it looks better, like, untinted because the car is, like, light color, you know? So it's, like, doesn't, I don't know, there's not a lot of black in it. Like, there's, like, black accents, but I don't know. Don't you guys like, kind of agree? Like, do my boobs look like a weird shape in this? You guys, this is, like, the worst angle. Do I look like a big, fat pig, like, the angle? I'm probably not going to put this up if I do. You guys, this is awful. This is awful. I need to figure this out. I need to get like a little stand or something. Oh god, why is everything so annoying? Anyway, I don't even know. This is like the worst. This is the worst. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to tint my windows. I feel like it's probably like for us, for girls who are single, like, and just like wanting to like show stop you know and be like hey what's up you know like why the fuck would I tint my windows like you know I don't know <laughs> you guys know what I mean you guys agree with me stop trying to hate me okay just stop um I love this color right now I've been wearing like this um I call it like raspberry yogurt color I have my uh, I got a Vince jacket and then I went to Bloomingdale's yesterday and they were having 80% off of all their cashmere sweaters and this is this I got this cashmere sweater it was like $200 I got it for like 60 bucks and it's really nice it's long like almost tunicky really pretty and I think it's really pretty with this is my um cocoa curb it's a leather and chain um weaved and 
and it's like a, a kind of a long choker. It's like at the base of the neck, but it's silver, uh, silver chain and silver leather. I think it looks very pretty with this yogurt color. Oh, and my sunnies. I'll talk about these too. So you guys know I love to like, can you even see me? I love to go around to like all the Asian malls and all, a lot of the Asian optical stores carry, they carry like, you know, the typical like Dita and, um, I don't know, Porsche. They don't, they don't carry Porsche. Well, they don't. Uh, what else? Like, you know, Tom Ford, that kind of shit. Chanel. Which I'm not, I mean, I love Dita actually. Dita is like, oh, I do like their glasses, but I don't like Chanel sunglasses. Tom Ford, no. It's like, that's like so, I feel like it's very basic. Like, everyone and their mom has fucking Chanel and Dita sunglasses. Like, do you, like, must you, is it the only kind of sunglass that anyone makes now? There's other brands. So, every time I go into these optical stores, I. I always ask them, like, do you guys have any Asian brands, like Japanese, Korean brands, especially Korean, because Koreans do like the best. I feel like Koreans are like, they're so on top of it regarding like pop, like, um, like kind of hip hop or like streetwear. Like they're very good at like streetwear stuff lately. I don't know, as I don't know if it's lately for me, I've noticed lately, I don't know if it's an ongoing thing. But I saw this brand and it's called Graphic Plastic and, um, I thought they were very cool like I love round sunglasses I feel like I look like fucking Howard Stern or John Lennon or something like some shit like that or like like you know that movie wait wait until dark with Audrey Hepburn I feel like that guy in there um, but the these come off like really easy like the arms come off and you can buy different colors like these are black and they're plastic like they're like rubbery but they have a clear one too they have like a clear kind of like frosted clear looking one too which is cool but then the guy was like you can't buy them you have to order them so I'm gonna like maybe just go online and try to just buy but I think they're very cool and different you guys know like I don't like to like wear get or have everything the same as everyone else like it's so old and boring I like to do different things <sighs> because I'm like the non-basic queen okay okay now here let's just wait for all the hate comments to roll in right Three, two, one, go. Guys, <laughs> I just, I'm at work right now. Um, it's MLK, it's Martin Luther King. So I'm just finishing up. I just talked to you this morning, duh. Um, and I'm just finishing up one of my chokers. This is the Pearl, single Pearl choker, which I love. It's so like Chanel reminiscent. Um, Anything with pearls kind of reminds me of Chanel, but so I'm just finish this one up. And I love to put a big clasp on this. I have a fuzzy thing like this. Um, it's, it's like I like I love big clasps. Like I, it's all about big clasps. But um, um, I don't know. I just think it's like chic. So big clasps. Make this one tailored so like it doesn't fit here. You know what I mean? Like that's like choker. It fits there, like low choker, so that you can stack here and then voice box length and below as well. Okay, so this is for this person. I have a list. Um, I don't have a major list today. I have a major list tomorrow of things to make. I'm just picking up straggling ends right now. Okay, put this in there. So, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just, what else am I doing whilst I finish? I just finished the last of the String of Stars necklaces. These are going out now for my, this was my giveaway. Not giveaway, but what's my free, look at how pretty that is. You guys can still order these if you want. I don't have them on my site, but these are voice box length. So, like my Orions would fit here, and then these um, String of Stars fit here area little different so you just get like that whole kind of like stacking layering effect like everything is tailored my neck is 13 inches so i i'm designed them for a 13 inch neck but um i can make them for any neck so if your neck is bigger or smaller i can't the way they look on me i can make them look on you i don't just add links i redesign the whole thing for you guys so it's not like you're getting some like mass produced just like put some links on the end this is made just for the, your size neck um, 
then I thought I'd kind of address something too now that I'm sitting here at work. I get a lot of emails and like Snapchats and private messages about people copying my line. And I know and I appreciate you guys so much for being aware of this and I'm aware of it too. It's getting out of control where people are doing it mindlessly. And I'm not gonna get into it. I feel like everyone knows where all the original designs started. They started here, HRH Collection. Like this is, I don't copy anyone. I, you guys can look back on my posts. I've been doing this I think for like six years now. I think I said that already, I don't remember. It's just honestly disgusting and it's gross that anyone would support it. Like this is my craft, like this is my, I designed all this stuff and so for someone just to go out and say, oh, I'm making it now too, like, <laughs> like fuck you, okay, okay, great. Like go, go, go take some like that's what i designed like why don't you design your own thing good for you go design your own thing like why is it why do you think that's okay to go and copy some girl who started this with their own two hands with their own head like her own brain why would you do that to her i think it's very kind of low it's very like low class and low anyone who owns a small business out there you guys know like it's very difficult you know what i mean like competition is difficult i don't mind competition but blatant copying and then People supporting it is really kind of gross. It's like, I mean, I could go on and on about it. I don't want to. I didn't ever want to address this, but I just feel like it's kind of like put in my face too. And it's nothing that's affecting me, honestly. Like, my line is great. It's all like, I don't sell anything I don't love. I make everything from like my, my, what I, in my head. Like, I don't see other people's things and think, oh, I'm gonna make that and like copy it. Like, I think that's disgusting. Like, come up with your own idea and your own line, that's great. And then, you know, everyone can mix and match everyone's pieces. Like, what is the point of going out and creating like the same bracelet or the same necklace and selling it and naming it the same thing or saying like, well, she doesn't have any talent anyway, it's just this and that. Like, no, I made that with, if you didn't like it or if you thought there was no talent, you wouldn't be making it now too. But. Um, I really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for those of you guys who are still sticking with me. I mean, my line is never going away. <laughs> I mean, I'll just keep evolving and evolving. You guys can, uh, the copycats can like take my little designs, my original designs and copy them as much as you want. Whatever, I mean, it's just, it's disgusting to me. And it's, it's honestly pathetic. Like it's, it's, an, it's humiliating, it's embarrassing. Like I feel bad for those people. Like they're just talentless or looking to make a buck and they're going after a girl who's like started this by herself. Like, it's when they were going after a big company. Like you see Michael Kors, maybe you saw a necklace he made and you went after like, and you copied that. Like he's maybe so big, it doesn't affect him at all. But I mean, it really hurts. It hurts that people are out there kind of like cheapening my, this is like my life. This is like my business. I've made this by myself. So it's really kind of nasty, but um, Really, honestly, it's not affecting me, but I just wanted you guys to know that I am aware. It is what it is. It's like, I love you guys so much for sticking by me. And for I just wanted everyone to know the truth because I've also been getting emails like, or I got some comments like, I can't believe you're copying this person. How, why would you do that to this girl? Like, really? Like, I had to delete comments like that because it's just so far, it's so incorrect that I felt like I had to address this. Like, like dates don't lie, you can go back to, any video you want and you could see me in my first apartment like when I got my first place out of my parents house I was doing my La Lumiere's and my Dauphine's and that was I started that so I mean it's like it's so very evident and clear I don't want to address this again it's something I want to like draw attention to because it's so disgusting and phony and pathetic and like you know good time rock and roll plastic banana bullshit like so gross who would wear like anything like copied like ew but let alone like to try and copy someone who just like a small company HR collection Are you fucking kidding me it's so weird but um anyway what else can I show you guys that I just finished making I can show you guys how it goes so here's like some things like I'm doing like these right now these are the orders like for today and all of these there's more here but they're all kind of organized I don't think there's anything I want to like if there's anything like I can really like show you show you maybe I will I'll show you like okay I'll show you guys like some of my like favorite stones because you guys know I can talk about stones all day so I'm making finish up an order right now and these are I'm like so stoked on this order too because I feel like this person just got it right it's like there's sometimes when I like someone orders I'm just like like they get it they get it and I love it so this is my son AB 
And these are the Art Deco Crystal Tears. These are vintage and rare stones. And it's a yellow with an AB effect on it. Um, I don't know if you can tell that. And they got the mint opal. And they got, these are all raw stones, so they look, you know, when a stone, a stone is raw, like not set or not made, it looks funny, but I wanted to show you guys the colors. And then the glass slipper AB, which is doing amazing. It's, imagine like Cinderella's glass slipper. That's what it looks like. So they got all these three colors together. And it's just like the prettiest thing in the world. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. I want to sh show you this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like so hard to show. Let me see. I gotta show you guys something too. Can you see? It's like raw though, so it's kind of like difficult to show. Those three together, it's just so, I don't know. It's so, look at, I can't explain it. It's just gorgeous. This is like my favorite combo together. I love it so much. Those are the Art Deco Crystal Tears. Um, I just finished a bunch of chokers, but I feel like you guys, I'll just bring over my chokers, but I don't want to like show my whole office because, oh, first of all, I'm moving. I don't know if you guys know that. If you follow my Instagram, my office is like a bedroom size. It's really tiny. I think it's like 300 square feet. We're moving into like one that's a little bit, that's bigger and it's like a corner view. So it's a lot of more, a lot more windows. So stoked for that. Like moving on fucking up. Okay. <laughs> it's really, really fun. I'm so excited. I'm more excited just to like be able to like do, like do it up the way I want. I mean, I love my office. It's so cool, but I just think, I don't know, I have all these like grand ideas, like, I, I, will, I will show you guys when I, once I do it, but like, I'm very protective of my line because like of the way things are going, you guys know that, so I um, try to protect it as much as I can because I have to deal with so much shit, you know what I mean? Let me just get a little like combo that I just, this is an order. And this is a very, like, this is a very typical order. I feel like this is a very popular order. Okay, this is a very popular order. So a lot of people ask, like, what is an order that I, that is, like, just good, like, for, to start out with? I would say this one. You can also switch out, if you're not really into, like, a choker, even though I'm all about the chokers, and if you're, like, old or young, don't think you can't pull it off. Um, if you want me to make it a little bit looser for you, I can totally customize it for you. So, if, like, it's cool. Like, if you're older or younger, older, a lot of older women ask me, I don't know if I can pull off, you can pull off. There's this one lady, I'm not gonna say her name. She sent me photos of herself, and I think if you're watching my video, know who you are. And she was wearing the Coco Curb choker and layering every, she looked so, she's not old. I think she was like 45 max. I'm not sure, but she, so cool. So don't think you're like you're too old. Even if you're 60, who fucking cares? Like wear what you fucking wanna wear. I wear, I wear like sweats with my like expensive bags and like for like, you know, fur coat, I'm kidding. But really if I wanted to, I would. So here's a, like a, a neck, like a neck set that I would say is like, perfect so this is kind of like how it would lay the first one is the luxe tattoo choker and then it's the sleek dash and the sleek dash is like would lay like that and it would fall straight down and it's very like mod and architectural and architectural and then that last one is the coronation rope and this is very luxe and i also have a coronation rope neck necklace too so you could wear this here and then wear the long necklace so it kind of looks like it's wrapped around your neck it's so sexy i love it so much you can also throw in one of the um string of stars these are so sparkly everything that i have is very shiny and sparkly i love it that's why I just mix them all together it's so pretty this is like my fave though so i just want to show you guys that sleek dash Lux Tattoo Choker and the Coronation Rope. I'm going to show you guys a necklace. Do I have a Coronation Rope necklace right now to show you? If I do, I want to show you guys. It's so pretty together. I don't think I have one ready right now. I just have the chokers. No, I don't have a choker. I don't have a necklace ready right now. Where else I would show you. But it's just like a long... Go a long version, like so pretty. You guys, I can sit here and talk about this all day. I always say that, but I really could. I could just like sit here and like do pairings with you guys. Like, all day. um, anyway, so I love you so much. Actually, maybe I'll just wear one right now. I 
Isn't that so pretty? Just even like that. It's like so classic. So pretty. Anyway, I'm not gonna do this. I can, you guys, I'm like wasting. I'm all I do ever is like talk about my All I want to do is talk about my line. Okay, let me show you guys something now that is very cute. So someone sits with me on my desk. Ming Ming, do you want to say hi? She's sleeping, but I wake her up so you guys can see. She just sits right here. And she's so good. I have her blanket right here and she likes to lay on her blanket. And I give her some treats every once in a while. She's such a good girl. I'm back to my car now. Long day's work. It's MLK, so post office is closed today, so everything is ready to be shipped tomorrow morning. But I think the word I was like looking for was like these people who, these girls who like are like legit copying, they have they have like no like moral compass. I think that's what it must be. Like who who thinks that's okay and who is like so blatant about it. It's just really honestly mind blowing. But like not raised right or something. I don't know. It's like fucking weird. It's so weird as fuck. Oh, this is downtown. And I'm just like a freak because I'm wearing today. Old lady pajama clothes. <laughs> I look crazy as fuck. It's funny. Like a penitentiary She spreads her loving all over And when she gets home There's none left for me I look like I've fucking been in the penitentiary Ugh. Summertime And if you save yourself Thank you Thank you Yeah, I'm getting a lot of compliments on it That's the new coup Yeah yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's still in Germany waiting to be shipped. What is? SL550. Oh, nice. I, I just traded that in. That's what I had I before this. Yeah. In. Awesome. See ya. Beautiful. Bye. Thank you. You guys, what did I say? What did I say this morning? What? Okay. You guys, what did I say this morning? Did I say I'm not tinting my windows? Like these fools are just like rolling up, okay? So little tip from Alex, don't get your windows tinted. You guys saw with your own eyes, like I look like fucking shit. I mean, he wasn't a cutie or anything. He was like decent. But like, don't try to like show off to me and be like, oh, my car is like, what he's like, he's like, oh, my SL is waiting in Germany. My SL 550 is waiting in Germany um, to be shipped here. Like, okay, please, you did not have to throw that in. like. I, you know, I, I guess it's all right. Like it's they're both Benzes, but um, that was like a little bit unnecessary. Like he's trying to show off, but see what? Oh my God, I'm always right, okay? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Dying now. What the fuck are you barreling through here for? It's a fucking parking lot. Um, I was thinking like, kudos to that guy though. Like, you know what? Like, maybe he wasn't hitting on me, whatever. I mean, for, uh, for whatever, but like, no one ever like talks to me. Like, I feel like, no, it's not true. Like, you know what I mean? It's just very rare. Like, guys nowadays are such fucking pussies. Like, okay, I first of all, you guys can't even see me, but do you guys agree? Like, I don't care if you agree, because I know I'm 100% right about that. Guys are like such fucking pussies nowadays. Like, this are like this millennial, like, we're like millennials, like, the, this millennial generation is so fucking gross. Like, <sighs> I don't know what's what. Our parents like brought us up like complete shit or something. I swear, like these guys don't like approach girls. Like guys don't do any more work nowadays. Like I'm so fucking tired of it. Okay, so yeah, sorry too. Am I like invisible today? Everyone's like running me over. But kudos to him for like having the balls to like say he liked my car. I mean, sorry, it's really annoying. Um, not that it like means anything anyway, but it's just very rare that like younger guys today like approach girls but, like, At least that's what I've found. I don't know if you guys agree with that It's just so fucking annoying like get some fucking balls Please like be a man like if you like a girl Go talk to her like go say hi like make start a conversation for sure So kudos to that guy for not being like dumbass Okay, okay she wants to say hi, I think. What? Yes? 
Would you like to go to the supermarket? Do you want to go to the supermarket? Supermarket. We're at the supermarket. She's like totally side eyeing me right now, you guys. Do you want to go to the supermarket? Right, let's ask them. Does Maisie, do you want to go to the supermarket? Do you want to come with me? You can come with me. I'll bring you. You were very bad earlier, but that's okay. I'll forgive you. I love you. I love Meezy. I love Meezy. I love Meezy. I love Meezy. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Ah. Freaks. Okay, here it is. It's a little bit more watery than it typically is. It usually absorbs all the water, so I think I put too much water, but whatever. So I might put some Parmesan cheese, um, but it looks really good. It's still too hot to eat. And yes, I do use chopsticks. This is um, like really lightly breaded, just a little tiny bit of flour, and then like I sprayed olive oil. They don't taste like like they like that good though. I don't know what I did this time. I didn't do it right. Let me try this though. Mm. It's really good and light. It's like very summery tasty. I mean like just like not summery, like to fresh, right? Like fresh vegetable. Fresh everything. So it's good. I'm gonna go work out later. I'm not gonna eat all the way shrimp obviously. I'll save them for tomorrow for like munching on or whatever. I don't Sidestep after a while, then sidestep. Right? Yeah. Fuck right. <laughs> Fucking jump that shit. It's better than jump. Fuck that. Now, what I do these workouts, I sidestep too. Because I don't want to trip. I'm gonna fall on my fucking face. Yeah, that's why I sidestep too. <laughs> 